And welcome back to the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. Man, there's a really cool youth football camp coming up at Summit High School and some former Summit Skyhawk stars are coming back. A couple guys from the NFL. Jamal Williams, he'll join us on the show tomorrow. But right now, New York Giants defensive back, Dante Dion. Dante, man, I can't believe, I guess I'm, I just feel like I'm just getting old, but I remember you winning that CIF title in 2011 um, at Heritage High School. I can't believe it's been that long ago, but man, welcome to the show. And, you know, what's it like coming back home now as an NFL guy? I remember seeing you in high school. Yeah, man, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on here right now. And uh, it's just it just feels good. It feels great. It doesn't seem like that long ago since we won the CIF. But, you know, time's flying. It uh, feels good to be back. Uh, and just to so people can see the hard, the work that we've been putting in and, the you know, the course we stayed on and just keep chipping away at it and grinding at it. And now I can come back and, you know, give that, give my knowledge back to these kids and the IE and, you know, just build it up. And it's, it's feeling good. So from Summit High School to Boise State and, and now the NFL, I'm sure you've learned a lot of things along the way from a variety of different coaches. What are some things that you have learned that you really want to pass on to the next generation? Because who's no, who knows at this camp that you're going to do it at, uh, for with the Summit High School football program, you're probably going to maybe there's the next Dante Dion in that group. You know what I mean? There's probably a kid from Fontana or the IE that could be the next Dante Dion in there. Yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing to uh, you know even even think about that 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 these kids can be the next us <laughs> yeah. coming out of the IE. And uh, really, I learned a lot uh, through my years, uh, a lot of different coaches. Uh, and I just, even at Summit, uh, even those coaches I had at Summit, they really taught me a lot when I headed into Boise. So I was always a student of the game. And I'll just tell them, I'll just keep telling them, learn the game, you know, learn the techniques each position, not just your position, but the other positions around you. Learn, you know what I mean? Uh, knowledge. Keep working on your brain. Keep working on your brain year in and year out. You know, the physical aspects are going to come, but if you can't mentally pick up or me be mentally strong enough to get through some of the things you're going to endure, then it's not going to work. So I would just tell them, you know, keep working on that brain and let's keep it sharp and keep sharpening the mind. Yeah, I think a lot of young, talented players, they think, hey, you know what, I'm really fast or I'm, and I'm really strong. I can cut some corners here and there. But that's what separates the good from the great, isn't it? Definitely. Uh, that's that's uh, what separates a, a pass breakup from an interception. <laughs> yeah. You know, how I look at it. So, yeah, just uh, making sure those techniques, you stay to that and you don't cut no corners and you keep keep grinding. We got Dante Dion here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. Dante, I want to make sure I get this right. So, what's the official name of the camp that you're doing? So it's a uh, it's uh, Jamal Williams and Dante Dion uh, youth football camp, and it's uh, sponsored by our lifestyle brand and corporation, uh, Good Eats. Yeah, so I see that Good Eats everywhere. Talk about that brand. What does that What does that mean to you when you when you hear that brand name Good Eats? What What you know? What's What the, is this all about? So uh, I started it uh, in college with a couple dudes, and you know we started, and I really just wanted to put a foundation and create avenues for guys and different guys to be a part of one thing, but giving back to so many different communities. You know, so it's a uh, Good Eats is a lifestyle brand, and basically, I got it's a it's a lot of different athletes and not just athletes, um, people that I went to school with. That's a part of it. So that way, we got Jamal. You know, he's in Green Bay now. We could, and but we're from the same area. So when we do stuff, we could come together, give back to our community. But I also got other guys that are play for other teams and they're from different areas. So it's creating a whole avenue where our whole group, we can go to different communities and give back to their, where they're from and others. So it sounds like the sport of football has really opened up a lot of doors and opportunities for you to, to use your status as an NFL football player and this Good Eats brand to, to give back. Like you said, you've got guys all over the place. So you're able to 
um, really impact and affect a lot of different people and in, in a lot of different ways. Yeah, definitely. And I, that's one of the biggest things um, we always talk about investing in yourself and, you know, giving back. So with that being said, <laughs> we use this platform to do that. So the, the camp, it's March 17th, correct? Yes. And the last I heard, there, there wasn't a lot of spots open. Do you know if there's any open left? And if, the, if there is, how can people still register? Um, it's not open anymore. It actually uh, filled up in like two days. <laughs> That's a good thing, though, right? That's a great yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was excited about that as well because it, it just goes to show the support that we have from our community and the people that we grew up with around here in the IE and how they're still supporting us. And, you know, it's going to be a good time. I'm, I'm excited to see all the kids out there and their parents and uh, just everybody out there. It's going to be good energy. Uh, good vibes, and I'm just excited for it. We're talking with Dante Dion of the New York Giants, former Summit Skyhawk as well. And Dante, I'm, I'm certainly not going to name names, but there's guys that come from the Inland Empire, and they make it big, and, and we don't see them again. But guys like yourself, Jamal Williams, Kenny Clark's another one of those guys. They come back. They don't forget where they're from. They want to give back. Even when you were back in high school in Boise State, did you always think in your mind, hey, if I make it to the NFL, if I make it big, I'm not going to forget about you know the IE. I'm going to come back. I want to do things for the Inland Empire still. Yeah, that was always a uh, mindset. You know, my family still lives in the IE. So I'm, I'm fully invested, and I just want to – try to get a group like you know what i mean so with good eats i've and had that in mind that we're gonna build up our cities where we're from you know so we're gonna do lots of things we're gonna eventually start having we're gonna just have pop-ups and signings and giveaways like we're gonna start and it's gonna be an annual camp uh that we're gonna host out here in the ie um to come and just really just start building the ie up uh and just doing a lot of things out here for the community. Dante, let me ask you, uh, how are you health-wise right now? Because I know your your season was cut a little short. I think, was it a broken arm or a broken forearm? Yeah, I had, uh, had a fracture in my forearm. How, how did that happen, and how are you doing right now? Uh, it happened on a tackle uh, on Thanksgiving. We were playing a Redskins. Uh, but, yeah, now I'm all good. Uh, I'm rehabbing, getting everything back strong, getting right, and I'll be headed back to – New York, April 9th to report, and we'll go from there. But health, health-wise, I'm getting getting back strong and getting back in to the groove of everything. Man, you know, there's there's hardly any off-season now for the NFL. We go all the way through January into February, and then you got to report in April. So you have a little bit of window, and I, I know you're coming back to do this camp, but what are some other things that you use uh, or that you're able to do during the off-season? you try to get away, take a, a quick little vacation? Are you hitting the weight room? Like, what do you do in your off-season when you have a little bit of downtime? Yeah, so uh, when we first get done this, like, break, I try to just get my body healthy, you know, get healthy, you know, work on my muscles, work, get PT, physical therapy, just get everything done my body wise. And I'm yeah, lifting and running, staying in shape, you know, that's year round. And then when we got this time, since we have good eats in that, I'm working every off season to just build the brand, just keep building the brand every off season, whatever we can do to build it. That's what I'm doing in the off seasons. Well, Dante, um, I know you know you're you're added to the Giants active roster. You're getting in there. You're making plays. It was a little frustrated to think, oh man, I finally got my shot, and I got this broken forearm. Like this is the worst possible time. Was it a little bit frustrating to see your season in like that? Yeah, you know, but uh, honestly, I didn't get frustrated with it. I just know it's a part of my journey. You know, it's just another piece to the puzzle, and uh, another piece to my story that I get to tell. Uh, you know, battling adversity. Uh, and coming back from that, just showing that everybody's going to go through hard times, rough times. You might think it's your time and it's not, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you got to, and that's why I said you got to build your mind and work on your mind because that's what's going to get you through these times. You know, you might be like, dang, man, and when you start soaking and moping and now it's going to hurt you in the future because you're not taking the proper steps to set yourself up to come back better stronger bigger faster you know so that's that's how i took it i took it as it's going to be another piece to my story and i'm gonna come back even better 
We're talking with Dante Dion of the New York Giants, former Summit Skyhawk here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE, 1350 AM. Dante, I think a lot of young athletes, again, they, they see someone like yourself and they say, well, they made it to the NFL. You know, he, it looks like he's got everything together, but they don't see all the struggles and the obstacles, maybe the things that you have to overcome to get to this point, right? I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a battle. It's a struggle. And there's a lot of things that even yourself to make it to the NFL, I mean, there's, there's hurdles you have to cross. Yeah, definitely. And the thing about it is there's hurdles on the field and off the field. And, you know, that's that's one of the biggest things, the op obstacles <laughs> yeah. that you got to go through off the field and on the field. You got to be able to balance it and you need a, a strong team and foundation and people and support around you to get through that. You know, you don't want to try to endure it all on your own. You don't want to try to take it all on your own. Uh, but these obstacles that you go through, you just keep battling, grinding through them, and it's adversity. And when adversity hits, it makes you a better person when you come out on the other side of it. You're exactly right, whether it's an injury or getting cut from a team or whatever the circumstance might be, uh, a rough family life. Everyone has obstacles, but you you know, you know have to persevere and battle, and, and a guy like yourself making it to the NFL. Um, Dante, one more thing. Let's talk about this Good Eats camp one more time. And you talked about the fact that you really want to impart to these kids that – you know, you got to be a student of the game. You got to, you know, obviously you might have the physical talents, but you got to be a student of the game. You got to understand your position. You got to understand all the other positions. What are some of the things that you're hoping to teach, coach up these kids at the camp that they're going to learn so they can go back to their youth team or their high school team, or wherever they might be, and go back to their school and say, hey, this is what Dante Dion told me. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, first, well, first things first, I want to just make sure these kids uh... – their mindsets are right, you know, and I and I want to tell them don't ever forget to love this game and enjoy it, you know, because uh, the the higher ranks you go up, the more it can start to feel like a business or you know start not to be so fun for some people. So really, just enjoying and loving the game, and then and then on the field, it's now it's about all the techniques. Uh, I just want to teach them the techniques of certain things, how they should come out of breaks with, you know, eyes, having their eyes right in the right places, pre-snap reads that they might not think it there because there's pre-snap and post-snap reads. So pre-snap, what am I looking at? What am I looking for? You know, help these kids start understanding formations. <laughs> Just Because it gets really complicated to give them real the fast. Game. Yeah, right? it, gets, it gets complicated real fast, real fast. And then you don't want to do, you don't want to over, you know, do it with the kids, you know, but you want to do it to a way they can understand it. Yes. So get it to where they can understand that, okay, he said, boom, okay, I should be, I'm playing corner, I'm playing off at seven or eight, and my inside foot's back, and I'm eyes are in at the QB. You know, I'm not off at seven or eight, inside foot back, and I'm staring at my receiver. You know, just things yeah. like that. It's uh, little things about like that that these kids I think can learn and gain and start taking it to the next level and just really working on their techniques and getting them right. I think you just hit on it. It's going to that next level. You know, they might play on their youth team or whatnot, and they know how to play football, but you're, you're able to take them to that next level, like you said, add a little bit to it, you know, that maybe they weren't thinking about. Yeah, you know, just trying to add to their uh, game and just elevate it. Well, Dante, we appreciate the time. We're going to have Jamal Williams on the show tomorrow. And, uh, again, it's the Good Eats Camp. It's March 17th. Um, it's sold out, which is awesome, brother. That's so good to hear. You'll have to do it for two days, I guess, next year or something like that. Uh, yeah. to bring more kids in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's Dante Dion of the New York Giants, former Summit Skyhawk on the show. Dante, we appreciate the time. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back. It's the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports, i.e. 1350 a.m.